Okay, this is another one. I don't know if you can read it. It says the integral of e to the power of 5x sine of 2x dx. Um, I will use u sub u, I mean integration by parts u equals e to the power of 5x and dv equals sine of 2x dx. You can do the other way around also. It's not a problem if you use u equals sine x and dv is sine e to the power of 5x dx. So du here is 5 times e to the power of 5x dx. The derivative of e to the 5x is 5 times e to the 5x. And v, antiderivative of sine 2x is minus cosine of 2x divided by 2. Now that we have this, the integral becomes, um, the integral, the original integral becomes uv, this is minus 1 half, e to the power of 5x cosine of 2x, okay, uv minus the integral of v du, 5 over 2 e to the power of 5x negative cosine of 2x dx. Remember there is a negative here, I'll push this out here, okay? So I'll have minus 1 half e to the power of 5x cosine of 2x plus the integral of 5 over 2. No, sorry, that's not right. what I wanted to do. I wanted to put the 5 over 2 outside of the integral sign. e to the power of 5x cosine of 2x dx. Next, we're going to do the same thing over again. Let's let u be e to the power of 5x and dv be cosine of 2x dx. I must point out here that if we chose u to be sine of 2x and dv to be e to the 5x dx, and you sat it out, you should have stayed, you would have stayed with the same format. You, u would be the trig function and the dv would be the uh, exponential function. So here du is 5 e to the power of 5x dx and v is sine of 2x over 2, okay? Now, now the integral of e to the power of 5x cosine of 2x dx becomes um, uv, let me just go back a little bit, this is where we were, uv, that's 1 half e to the 5x sine of 2x minus the integral of v du. And then I have a 5 and a 2. I'll put 5 over 2 here. e to the power of 5x sine of 2x dx. So, what was the first, the original problem? The original problem was e to the power of 5x sine of 2x dx and that was equal to this guy over here, which is minus 1 half e to the power of 5x cosine of 2x plus 5 over 2 times all of that stuff. This, that's what this is. This is what this is. So I have 1 half e to the power of 5x sine of 2x minus 5 over 2 the integral of e to the power of 5x sine of 2x 
dx. Now I'm going to distribute the 5 over 2. That will give me minus 1 half e to the 5x cosine of 2x plus 5 over 4 e to the 5x sine of 2x minus 25 over 4 the integral of e to the 5x sine of 2x dx. And remember what, wha what we have here on the left side is it sine the integral of e to the 5x sine 2x dx, which looks like that one, except that I have this constant here. So what I'm going to do is add this thing over to the other side. Okay, so I have plus 25 over 4 of the integral of e to the 5x sine 2x dx. Same thing here, plus 25 over 4 e to the 5x sine 2x dx. So the left hand side will give me 1 plus. 25 over 4 is 29 over 4. The integral of e to the 5x sine 2x dx. And what's left here is minus 1 half e to the 5x cosine of 2x plus 5 over 4 e to the 5x sine of 2x. Now I'm going to put plus e1. Just so I have some constant, integration constant there. Now finally, the integral of e to the power of 5x sine of 2x dx is, I'm going to divide this guy out. Divide everything by 29, multiply everything by 4 over 29. So when you multiply this by 4 over 29, you get minus 2 over 29 of e to the power of 5x cosine of 2x. Multiply this by 4 over 29 gives you 5 over 29 e to the 5x sine of 2x plus this by 5 over 29 is just another arbitrary constant. And that would be the answer.